If you follow this channel, you probably like funk music or soul music or music that grooves hard of some kind. And I've learned over the years that Brazil holds the keys to many of the funkiest pieces of vinyl. Getting into vinyl has opened my palette of music up to pretty much everything. And having a collection of records makes that even greater to the point where I will try a new type of music simply because I have it on vinyl. And recently, I've been getting immersed in Brazilian funk, soul, groove, psych, samba, MPB, which stands for Musica Popular Brasileira or Brazilian Popular Music. It's hard to define this stuff, so I just back up and I'm saying here Brazilian music, and it's pretty much all awesome. Now, I'm mostly talking about stuff from the 60s and 70s here. However, there are some new artists from Brazil and the US, or at least releasing in the US, that are in this vein, and we're gonna get into some of those as well. I'm gonna try to put links into the description for as much of this stuff as I can. And if you like this stuff, definitely consider subscribing by ending this samba groove together. <laughs> Now this burning fire that's going on here at the moment started on Record Store Day 2023 out of nowhere. Again, what I love about vinyl collecting, I had no idea about this little box set curated by Mike D from the BC Boys and released from Mr. Bongo Records. Mr. Bongo Records is a really awesome record shop label website that started in 1989 in London and was one of the first shops outside of the US to feature independent hip hop labels like Def Jam, Raucous, and Big Beat. They also became well established for hard to find classic Latin music, particularly Brazilian music outside of the US. These guys from Mr. Bongo, they curate these 45 collections and I love the Beastie Boys. So seeing Mike D had put this compilation of 45s equals for me, let's see what Brazilian MPB and psych is all about. And then we notice that this is actually volume four. So naturally we need to get volume one and volume two and volume three. And we already know of Kenny Dope from KD Records, a master beat maker, an awesome curator of funky grooves. And he did volume three of this box set, which is really awesome. So this is the point where I declare to myself that I need to know more about Brazilian music. And if you saw this video about the VC, I actually mentioned as the table turns and you gotta go check out his channel. And he mentioned this, Valtel Barenko. By the way, as we go here, I'm gonna murder and destroy all the pronunciations of all these things. I'm trying as best I can to pronounce some of these names, but I am not very familiar with Portuguese or Portuguese names or pronunciations. So I'm trying the best I can, bear with me. After getting this, I declared I need to own a larger Brazilian music collection. And once again, the vinyl community swoops in and is the perfect guide for what you need. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but at Zen Takis, I'm gonna put his name here on the screen, go check out his channel. He reaches out to me after seeing some of this stuff and wants to be my guide to Brazilian music. Music, which I'm pretty sure he might be Brazilian or a musician, or at least he's very close to the culture there and musically because this guy is definitely in the know. And I'm gonna share with you the recommendations that he gave me because I think they're spot on. And I wanna have him on the channel in the future. So let me know if you'd be interested in a further conversation on Brazilian music with him. I will probably make that anyway regardless. Particularly, he writes to me and says, the Mr. Bongo 45 box sets are great, but it's kind of the rare stuff you would not wanna get into the lost soul artists of the world without getting into James Brown or Aretha Franklin first, which I could not agree more on. I'm actually also in the process of filling out some like classic soul stuff since I actually have a lot more newer stuff. And he listed five records that I immediately went out and bought and have pretty much been listening to nonstop in my house. So let's go through those records, all of them, and talk about them. And as I got each one and started to get into them, I could really see why he chose these to start this collection as a good way to explore the entire scene and see all of the different subgenres. Starting with this first one I got, which very well might be one of my favorites, but they've all hit me in different ways. This is Jorge Ben, Africa, Brazil. Now, again, I know these are all not gonna be super rare, hard to find gems. This is a very popular album, so much so that Vanami Please made it an essential record of the month back in July of 2019, which also makes it a double bonus for me. I started getting into Brazilian music and Vinyl Me Please had already issued a lot, including some exclusives. And this is an earlier Essentials record, which I've also been obsessing over a lot. It has the white Obi and the original drink mixes 
spices that they used to include, which this one is a Taj Mahal, which has gin and rum in it. I'll include the drink in, a, in the description below if you're interested in that. This lists as the first official US vinyl pressing on this 180 gram yellow cream vinyl and with original artwork provided by Santiago Carskia. The artwork is beautiful and I love the add-ons that VMP Record of the Month always has. It mentions it's cut from high quality digital masters. Now, I mentioned these are not hard to find gems. That is not entirely true. The OGs of all of these are pretty much extremely super rare. And if you do find a mint copy, it's in Brazil. So good for you if you're in Brazil, but if not, you're gonna be paying huge amounts of prices for shipping. And these go for a lot, even in good conditions. So finding mint ones are like insane. So having this reissue is just awesome. And it sounds amazing to me, digital or not, but you also get a high quality jacket, which is really beautiful and great liner notes with this additional booklet since it was a record of the month. Again, I love all the add-ons that they put on with these record of the months. And this album grooves really, really hard. This is next to the percussionist for Miles Davis that he used in the electric years. Some of the best uses of the Quika that I've ever heard. The Quika is this instrument. <laughs> Really, I wish I could just play some of the grooves here. I'm gonna to try to play a little sample of this just so you can hear it. What Zentakis is telling me, this is probably the funkiest album that Jorge Ben ever released. If you know of others that he's released, definitely let me know in the comments below, but I'll probably go exploring some more of his catalog as I go. The next one on this list is also on another list, the Rolling Stone Top 100 Brazilian Albums of All Time, and they listed this as number one. Now I'm gonna completely proceed to butcher this name, Os Novos Baianos, and the album Acabu Chereri. This particular pressing is the Mr. Bongo reissue from 2022. This is a limited 50th anniversary edition on yellow and blue transparent split vinyl. It's very cool and it matches the label very well. This came out on Record Store Day Black Friday in 2022. This originally came out in 1972. The OB is really awesome as well, which mentions the Rolling Stone listing for number one and the 50th anniversary of this record. This is a great gatefold jacket, which is a very good quality and an awesome poster to go along with it as well. All of the reissues from Mr. Bongo are spot on. Never be scared getting anything from them. I can say that with confidence. However, Reading the reviews on this particular pressing tell a little bit of a different story on Discogs, but I just got a brand new copy in 2023 and it was flawless, plays amazing, no skips, and it's very quiet vinyl and it sounds amazing. That said, there are a lot of other different variants of this one out there, so go have a look and see what you can find. Acabu Chereri is the second album from Novos Baianos, a legendary band who formed in Bahia, Brazil in the 1960s. They're considered to be one of the most important and revolutionary groups in Brazilian music. The unique sound of this record is a result of the fusion of samba, MPB, rock, and bossa nova, and strong influences from Gilberto Gil, who frequently played with the group, as well as bossa nova legend João Gilberto. Lots of acoustic guitar and vocals. This is not as funky as the Jorge Ben, but there's always hard grooves in all of this music. There are some rock elements here in this that's with some fuzzy guitar, but mostly great acoustic guitar and of course, awesome percussion. I can agree with Rolling Stone's assessment on this, although I've not heard 100 Brazilian records yet. This one is pretty amazing. Next, we picked up another legend and legendary album in the world of Brazilian music, Arthur Veracay. Now, real quick departure here, and flashing forward to 2023 Brazilian music, a new record and new record label just came out, Diamond West Records, from one of the founders of the Budos band, Tommy TNT Brennick. And they've released this first album on the label, Rogue, Curryman. Uh, it's I don't know if you pronounce that right. Rogue Curryman. It's on clear vinyl. The first LP on Diamond West Records. Go check this out. The links are in the description. I'm going to see Rogue in Philly and I'm trying to line up some great content for that. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. I got this because of my new fascination with Brazilian music and because of my love of anything with Tommy TNT Brennick puts out. And I wanted to support his new label, which the Budos Band are coming out with new stuff 
stuff on there as well, so definitely check that out. And I look at the hype sticker on this, and the string arrangements are done by Arthur Verakai, who I just got his 1972 self-titled classic. Now, this is another Mr. Bongo reissue, because getting an OG of this one, if you can find it, is thousands thousands of dollars. And I think one of the reasons for that is what you see on the hype sticker of this reissue, a quote from Mad Lib, who is an amazing hip hop artist. I could listen to this album every day for the rest of my life. That is a bold statement coming from a serious vinyl collector and curator of amazing rare vinyl. This particular Mr. Bongo reissue is from 2012. Now, sometimes Mr. Bongo will put out multiple variants or even different pressings. And apparently this one is the one to get the black vinyl gatefold 2012 edition which i believe is the first mr bongo reissue on this it's on 180 gram vinyl with a really nice gatefold cover and it's mastered from the original master tapes under supervision of arthur verakai himself now there are apparently ones that are done at abbey road studios as half speed masters and they don't sound as good as this or at least that's what a lot of the reviews say and that's what the folks on discogs have said and i followed them on that and i am I'm very much not disappointed on what I hear on this. This was not super expensive either, so you should definitely try to go get one, but this is getting into grander ideas. This album really transcends the genre of Brazilian music, and in fact, all genres, highlighted in part by the number of artists that have sampled this, from MF Doom to Ludacris in Common, Little Brother, DiBiase, and Action Bronson, amongst others. Mr. Bongo listed as orchestral, breaks, and psychedelic and when I see those three, I know that we are on the right path. Very well produced album as well. A lot of these records are also very well produced in the awesome grooves that they present. Number four on this list is probably my favorite cover. Look at this dude, I love it. The highlight in this fro is just perfect. Now this is Tim Maya, which came out in 1977. Not to be confused with his first album, Tim Maya, which came out in 1970, or his second album, Tim Maya, which came out in 1971, or his third album, Tim Maya, which came out in 1972, or his fourth album, Tim Maya, which came out in 1973, or his seventh album, Tim Maya, which came out in 1976. No, this is Tim Maya from 1977, and this is probably the smoothest set in this collection. A fusion of soul, boogie, disco, and MPB, Tim Maya is recognized as one of the biggest icons in Brazilian music. This is a Vinyl Me Please exclusive, which came out in 2019 on this very awesome orange splatter. This is the same pressing as the Mr. Bongo release from 2018 on black vinyl, MRBLP178. It's really cool that VMP gets in with Mr. Bongo and releases these exclusives like this one. This one's limited to 500 copies, but I picked up a mint unopened copy, so they are out there. Mr. Bongo actually has a pre-order of this on Apple Red and Brown Swirl Vinyl right now, so definitely go check that out if you wanna get that exclusive. This is Tim Maia's first and only record for the Som Livre record label, which is a very legendary Brazilian label. A lot of these records and artists that we've shown here are actually recorded for that label. There are some English vocals and instrumentals on this as well. The album was produced by Tim Maia himself and he is really a crossover artist transcending a lot of Brazilian music and American popular music as well. I think it's actually really cool that this guy issued like 10 albums with just his name and face on the cover. I actually have 1970 coming in as well and I'm sure I will get all of the rest of these if I can. Again, OGs of these are almost impossible to find. There is a label out there called Polysom, which did reissues of these, but they can be hit or miss with their quality from what I've been told. Last on this list, and this is in no particular order by the way, but I've really been listening to this one a lot. It's probably also because it just most recently came in of this bunch, but this is Antonio Carlos y Jocafai Mude de Adia. Don't know if I pronounced that right at all. Again, my apologies to the people of Brazil and my horrible Portuguese pronunciations. I'm trying. This is another VMP slash Mr. Bongo joint reissue. So this is an exclusive color and variant with Vinyl Me Please. This variant is a blue and purple tie-dye edition limited to 300 copies. The Mr. Bongo number is MRBLP140, and this is the VMP edition that came out in 2019. But the Mr. Bongo black vinyl came out in 2016 and still is on the Mr. Bongo site. 
Antonio Carlos y Jocafai were a very successful and famous Brazilian writing duo born in Bahia, Brazil. This is a very awesome album. Two versions of this album cover actually exist in Brazil. This one, which is the psyched out burnout version and a much less exciting photograph of the duo pressed to include the single Desicato, which became a popular hit in Brazil and several European countries. The arrangements here are by Rogério Duprat, featuring legendary guitarist Lanny Gordon. This is very funky with some great breaks, but also a lot of fuzzy psychedelic guitar work. Some of the funkiest grooves of this bunch for sure. Mr. Bongo lists that they got the original master tapes for this from Sony. So the hope here is that this is a AAA cut, but it doesn't actually say AAA cut. This is still available on Mr. Bongo's site for pretty cheap. They list it as Brazil Breaks funk, fusion, jazz, psychedelic rock. So seriously, how could you go wrong with anything listed with that? Now, this is just my first dip into this amazing music scene. I plan on continuing this collection probably forever. I really, really have loved this music. I've always been a fan of Latin Samba music to play and to get into, but it can be really intimidating getting into another culture's music when you don't speak the language or you can barely even pronounce the names of the artists and you know there is good and bad music in all genres, so it can be tricky to add to that. Plus, with really rare vinyl out there, you don't want to just go buying stuff that could cost a ton of money or doesn't cost a ton of money and you get a bad pressing or something like that. Not only that, but this stuff has definitely been plundered by DJs and vinyl curators all over the world. I actually find it fascinating that these guys are still able to come out with new rare 45 compilations and sets in their digging adventures in Brazil and all over the world at this point still in 2023. Mr. Bongo Records, if you see this and you would like someone to come and film one of these excursions sometime and document it, I would be totally on board with doing that. So definitely hit me up in the description below, or if you'd even be interested in having someone just do an interview for the channel with Mr. Bongo Records, I would love to do that as well. I hope that you found something that you liked in this video. This can kind of serve as a guide to starting any new collection with new pieces of vinyl. If you did find this video helpful, check out some of these other videos that you might like. Like this one here is about reggae music, and this one is about an amazing funk group that inspired me a lot and influenced a lot of my collection. Okay, I've said enough. I'm gonna go listen to some Brazilian funk and chill. I will see you guys on the next one. Jocafi? Novos Paianos. Novos Paianos. Acabou Chorari. Acabou Chorari. João Gilberto. João Gilberto. Gilberto Gil. Gilberto Gil.